Terrifying. Episode 36, Kilauea erupts. Well, we hear what's actually going on underneath. The volcano that never sleeps, or does it? In the heart of Hawaii's Big Island, the Earth's crust is once again alive with fire. The Kalawea volcano, one of the most active volcanoes on the planet, is erupting again, painting the night sky with molten orange arcs of lava. But beyond the spectacle of fountains and flows lies a deeper scientific mystery that continues to fascinate geologists around the world. What's actually going on beneath Kalawea? Why does the magma seem endless? And is there perhaps a hidden supervolcano lurking below the surface? Let's descend, layer by layer, into the story beneath Hawaiian. A volcano that refuses to rest. Kalawea's name in Hawaiian means spewing or much spreading. A perfect description for a volcano that's been continuously reshaping the island for centuries. Its latest eruption, though spectacular, is just one pulse in a much longer geological rhythm. A rhythm that has been beating for nearly half a million years. In recent months, scientists at the U.S. Geological Survey USGS, noticed rising tremors and subtle bulging of the volcano's summit, detected by ultra-precise GPS instruments. Satellite radar revealed the ground lifting by several centimeters, the unmistakable signature of magma accumulating below. Then, with almost theatrical timing, the summit vent cracked open, and fountains of lava shot nearly a thousand feet into the sky. What looks like chaos from above is, in fact, the visible tip of a vast and intricate plumbing system, a network of molten arteries that has made Kalawea the restless heart of the Pacific. Beneath the crust, the magma factory. Deep below the Hawaiian Islands, a plume of superheated rock, the Hawaiian hotspot, rises from the mantle like a slow-motion blowtorch. This mantle plume is believed to be stationary, while the Pacific Plate drifts northwestward, carrying the islands over it like a moving conveyor belt. Every island in the Hawaiian chain, from Kauai to the Big Island, tells the story of this movement. Once over the hotspot, now dormant and eroding into the sea. But Kalawea currently sits almost directly above that plume, and it's being fed by a steady pulse of molten rock that has been rising for millions of years. As magma rises, it collects in multiple reservoirs beneath Kalawea, some deep in the crust, others mere kilometers below the surface. Think of them as interconnected chambers. Magma rises, pools, mixes, and eventually forces its way upward through cracks and fissures. According to seismologists, these chambers can inflate like balloons when new magma arrives, sometimes triggering small earthquakes as the surrounding rock adjusts. When the pressure exceeds the strength of the rock above, the system fails. That's when an eruption begins. The eruption cycle of volcanoes breathing. Kolawea's eruptions follow a kind of natural rhythm an inhale and exhale of magma. After each eruption, the summit deflates as magma drains out through the rift zones, sometimes traveling tens of kilometers underground before surfacing elsewhere. During the 2018 Lower East Rift Zone eruption, magma migrated downrift, erupting in neighborhoods miles from the summit. That event was so powerful that the summit itself collapsed in stages, 
forming a massive crater nearly half a kilometer deep. Scientists estimate that over a cubic kilometer of magma was withdrawn from beneath the summit in just a few months. Since then, Kalauea has been refilling, slowly, steadily, inevitably. Each new pulse of magma recharges the system. Every small earthquake or tiny bulge in the ground is a heartbeat of a living planet. And now, in 2008-5, Kalauea's heartbeat has quickened once more. Does the magma ever run out? It's a question people have asked for decades. How can Kalauea keep erupting again and again? Doesn't it ever run out of magma? In human terms, the answer might as well be no. At least, not anytime soon. The Hawaiian hotspot is one of Earth's most consistent magma suppliers. Feeding Kalauea with tens of millions of cubic meters of molten rock each year. Even after major eruptions drain the summit reservoir, the supply line from the mantle continues to refill it. But in geologic time, the system is dynamic. Kelawia won't last forever. In several hundred thousand years, it will drift away from the hotspot and go dormant, just as Mauna Kea and Kohala did before it. A new volcano, perhaps Loihi Seamount, now known as Kamaehuakanaloa, is already forming on the seafloor to the southeast. For now, however, Kelawia's magma supply is effectively endless on human timescales, a perpetual fire that fuels both fear and fascination. The Hidden Plumbing System Geophysical imaging gives us a cross-sectional look beneath Kelawia, and what scientists have found is astonishing. A main magma reservoir lies about 2 to 4 kilometers below the summit caldera. A deeper storage region, perhaps 10 kilometers down, acts as a staging area for magma rising from the mantle. These reservoirs connect to long rift zones that stretch east and southwest, subsurface highways for magma to travel laterally through the crust. These pathways are not empty tunnels. They are cracks and fractures filled with pressurized molten rock. As magma moves, it forces the ground apart, measured by instruments as deformation. Sometimes these intrusions never reach the surface. They cool underground, adding new layers to the volcano's growing bulk. <laughs> 